that's got to be driving this bus. You you can't say, you know, I'm not submitting to anybody's instruction. I'm not following anybody else's protocol. I'm not letting nobody tell me what to do. Because guess what? When you do, when you think that way, and you've always got to be the driver of the bus in your life, then you're you're going to end up never growing. You're never going to grow because you can't outgrow yourself, really. You really can't. You can't force yourself to outgrow yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can't do that. You can't for you can't be anything greater than what you are already. You can't be anything greater than you. You know, Calvin, you can't be any anything greater than Calvin. Veronica, you can't be anything greater than Veronica. Not by yourself. Not by yourself. In order for you to grow, I believe, again, this is just my two cents. If you disagree, it's totally okay. You can't grow unless you submit to something bigger than yourself that's gonna pull your raggedy ass up out of your body. You understand? You can't grow unless you have some something that's going to just force you to engage in that uncomfortable act of becoming someone that you're absolutely not. You're going to have to act, be an actor for a while. You know, it, it, and, and when I really think about it, um, and because I'm even going through that right now, you know, I, I've, I've, my weight and, and stuff came down and I got in decent shape because I get up in the morning. I go, you know, to the gym with my you know, or my wife. I go to the gym. My wife goes to that boot camp and my wife was encouraging me to go to this boot camp. And I was like, I don't want to go to that boot camp. You know, and she's like, come on, boys, just try it once. I was like, I don't want to have these white people barking at me and telling me what to do. And, you know, I said, that's triggering for me. And uh, and she's like, no, no, come on, boys, you got to try it. It's real, you know, because every time she gets in the car, she's like exhausted. Me, I'm kind of sweating a little bit because I was on the treadmill, you know, reading the articles and you know, like, you know, posting content, right? Just kind of walking when I feel like it. Like, so, from, so my workouts are pretty comfortable. Her workouts are absolutely brutal. And that's why at the age of 50, she wears the same size she wore when she was 22. I don't wear the same size I wore when I was 22. I don't wear the same size I wore when I was 32. Maybe not even 42. I don't know. I got to check. Um, you know, so, so, but, so here's the thing. I remember thinking, you know, I really don't want that. I really want to actually lose this weight. I really want to actually get in a higher level of shape. And uh, so I, I went with her to visit the boot camp reluctantly. And it, it was hard. And I was there and, and she was like, well, do you want to come back? Do you want to sign up? And I was like, no, I don't. Like, no, boy, boys. And what I was saying was that Boyce does not want to sign up. And what I realized is that while Boyce does not want to sign up, I know Boyce needs to sign up. So, so the only way I can force myself to do something I don't want to do is I have to submit. I have to submit to my wife. I have to be an actor. I have to say, okay, you know, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to follow your lead because who I am is not enough right now. And I'm talking about right now, I'm talking about the past and who I am right now, who I am right now is not enough for me to become the man that I want to be. Like, I want to be in much better shape. I want to have more endurance. I want to lose the weight, you know, I, you know, all that stuff. So I got to submit. You see what I mean? So, so really I, it's what I say to you is, is that whatever mountain you're climbing, it's always an ongoing journey. And I encourage you to never become so arrogant that you can't submit to something that's going to make you into the better version of yourself that you need to be. So if you want to grow financially, you're going to have to submit to something or some process or some person or something that's going to force you to behave and do things in ways that you've never done them before. Uh, because if you keep doing exactly what you're doing, you're going to get exactly what you've been getting. 